everyone, thank you for joining me to another belly dance lesson. Today I'm going to teach you a traveling uh, movement in belly dance called Chagale or Chajale. This movement is uh, sometimes confused with the three quarters, especially when down quickly. I'll show it. This is the Chajale. You can see that there are twists involved, yeah? As opposed to the three quarters where my hip stays parallel, like this. So again, this is the three quarters, and this is the Chagale. The Chagale movement is uh, comprised out of two different movements. First, we're going to walk with a twist, like this. And the second part of the movement is a hip down accent, like this. So what we're going to do, we're moving with the step with the twist forward and then after we put the foot down we're going to do a hip drop like this. So twist, drop, twist, drop, twist, drop. You can do this movement flat on your feet or you can do it uh, up on the ball of the feet. Usually it will be uh, the decision in between will be either because the music is more folklore and then it's more uh, custom to uh, be lower and dancing on your whole foot and sometimes it's just a function, uh, functional question when the music is really fast it's difficult to do it flat and then you would go up on the ball of the feet. So let's first talk about how to do it flat and then I'll also explain uh, how to do it on the ball of the feet. So I want to do a close-up so you can see my feet because it's really important to make sure you put the foot down on the ground before you do the down accent. Why? Because if you don't, uh, everything kinds of mixed up together and you don't see really one, two, one, two, one, two. You want really accurate, nice, clean movement uh, so we can see accents. So even if I'm doing the movement real quickly, you can still see it really organized. As opposed to if we uh, don't make sure that we divide between the two, the step with the twist and the down accent, it would look like this. Down, 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 down. It kind of goes into uh, Latin dance more than belly dance. So let's do the close up. As I said, it's really important to make the distinction between the step with the twist and the down accent. So you want to do the step with the twist make sure you put the whole foot down on the ground, not just the ball of the foot, the whole foot with the heel, and only then drop down the hip, down from the knee. Stepping with the other leg, step, put the whole foot on the ground, and down. So two mistakes that I see sometimes in my classes is uh, doing the step, putting only the ball of the foot, and then dropping the hip with the heel, like this, or putting down the whole foot with the down accent, like this. And what happens with these two mistakes is you don't see a really nice uh, two parts to the movement, like this, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It's not as accurate and clean. So uh, if you don't know how to do the down accent like this, because usually when we do uh, hip drops, we do it with the uh, heel up and that is what makes it more difficult for students sometimes to do the Hagale right. So if you're not used to that, practice only that. So stand with your knees a little bit bent, you don't want to lock your knees, so both are bent a little bit and then you want to drop one side further down like this. And again I didn't uh, lock the other, the other knee, it still stays uh, a little bit bent. So one more time, sit a little bit with your knees and then just drop the right side down, down. And you want to drop it down to the extent where you can see the difference in the heights. You don't want to do this where I don't really see the difference. You want to really drop it down, down. And make sure that the other knee doesn't move at all. Now let's try on the left. So no, right now the right knee won't move at all and just the left is dropping down, down, 
down and of course throughout the whole thing my feet are both flat on the ground including the heel on the ground so let's see again the Hagale flat like this step down step down step down step down let's see it from the front step down step down step down step down now if I want to do the Hagale on the ball of the feet like this it still means that my heels are staying at the same level I don't want to play with it like this as I'm doing uh, the down accent so I'm doing step drop from the knee step drop step drop and not like this step drop step drop yeah you don't want to play with it with the heights you want to stay the same step down step down step down twist down twist down twist down also make sure that you don't do this too much yes yeah, sometimes I see it also because instead of doing the twist from the hip people try to manipulate it by twisting the uh, foot so you can obviously see that it does, this doesn't look good and it also makes it difficult to dance so remember the twisting we can do standing in place I don't have to use my uh, feet to do the twist, right? so the same goes here, I'm doing the twist and I'm dropping the knee and still everything goes to the front and not like this we know that in our music we have four counts in the rhythm and on each of these counts we want to do the uh, Hagale so for example I'm counting one, two, three, four so I'm actually counting the twist before the, the count in the music itself so it's going to be N1, N2, N3, N4 and every time that I say N that means I'm doing the step with the twist N1, N2 and three and four so you can see that both are close together and then there is a little gap before I start the next one again and one stop and two stop and three stop and four stop as opposed to one and two and three and four and yeah one more time and one and two and three and four Let's try it now on the ball of the feet. And one, and two, and three, and four. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and uh, you will start using the Hagale in your dances. And you're welcome to subscribe to my channel if you want to get noticed once I upload the uh, new videos. And I would really appreciate the like on the video.